Honorable Kabir Ibrahim Tukura, representing the people of Zuru, Fakai, Donko, Sagu, and Sakaba. I rise this morning under Order 8, Rule 5, to seek the leave of this Honorable House to allow me to move a motion of urgent importance on the need to address the escalating incidents of banditry and kidnapping in Zuru Emirate Federal Constituency. Ahmad Abdullahi Kalambayana is my name, and I present, I represent Kwari Wama Kofere Council of Social State. I stand to second the motion ably uh, uh, moved by my colleague, Honorable Kabiru Tukura. Mr. Speaker, there's a disturbing trend. I invite the House to note that the Zuru Emirate is located in Kemi State and has recently witnessed an alarming increase in incidents of banditry and kidnapping. This upsurge in violent crimes is not isolated, but is closely linked to the ongoing security operations in neighboring Zamfara, Sokoto, and Niger states. These states, which share borders with my federal constituency, have been hotspots for bandit activities, prompting intensified military and security operations aimed at dismantling bandit networks and restoring peace. Further note that as a result of these operations, bandits have increasingly migrated across state boundaries, seeking refuge on operational bases in adjoining areas, including and most especially in Wasagu Chiefdom, where the district head of Kenya was recently kidnapped and killed. This spillover effect has exacerbated the security situation in Zuru, where communities that were once peaceful are now becoming targets of attacks, kidnappings, and other criminal activities perpetrated by these migrating groups. Aware that on Sunday, the 6th of October, 2024, the district head of Kenya, Alaji Isa Kenya, in Wasogu Chiefdom of Zuru Emirate, was kidnapped and subsequently killed on Sunday, October 8, 2024. This unfortunate event highlights the severe security challenge facing the region and underscores the vulnerability of traditional leaders and local communities. Such incidences emphasize the urgent need for enforced security measures and coordinated efforts toward to protect citizens and traditional institutions. Further aware that not too long ago, not to forget the unfortunate kidnapping and subsequent killing of the Emir of Gobir in Sokoto State, remains a somber reminder of the growing security crisis affecting traditional rulers and communities in northwestern Nigeria. The late Emir, a respected leader and custodian of region's rich heritage, was targeted by bandits in an attack that sent shockwaves across the state and beyond. His death underscores the vulnerability of traditional leaders who serve as pillars of stability and cultural preservation in their communities. Concerned that the security challenges in Wasogu Chiefdom have become a matter of grave concern as the area continues to face frequent attacks, kidnappings, and other forms of violent crimes perpetrated by the bandits. This once peaceful chiefdom is now plagued by insecurity that disrupts the lives and livelihoods of its residents. The kidnapping and killing of the district head of Kenya, Alaji Isa Kenya, highlights the audacity and brutality of these criminal elements, who now operate with impunity in the area. The increasing insecurity not only threatens the social economic fabric of Wazogu Chiefdom, but also undermines the authority of traditional institutions that have long served as pillars of peace and stability. I urge this House to resolve one, urgently direct security enforcement agencies to prioritize the implementation of comprehensive security measures within the Emirates to effectively combat the escalating banditry and kidnappings incidents, threatening the lives and livelihood of the, ins of the residents, which is a spillover from the ongoing operations in Sokoto, Zamfara, and Niger states. Observe a one-minute silence in honor of the late district head of Kenya, Alaji Isa Kenya, who tragically lost his lives to the rising tide of insecurity in the region allocate resources and develop initiatives aimed at providing adequate security for farmers during the harvest season, ensuring they can access their farmlands without fear of violence and contribute to the national food production. Review and strengthen existing security policies to address the unique challenges posed by cross-border banditry 
to ensure that effective measures are in place to protect vulnerable communities. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Can you say aye? Those against you say nay. That is of it. This motion is referred to the committees on traditional institution, national intelligence, and uh, police affairs for further legislative action.